Very recently, I made a video about how Russia appears to be upgrading 60-year-old T-62 tanks for service in Ukraine, and it drew a lot of guffawing comments regarding the state of Russia's army if such an extreme expedient is necessary. However, in the interests of balance and fairness, Ukraine is also facing some of the same problems regarding tanks, and has recently resorted to deploying an even older tank design that first entered service in 1948. As the war in Ukraine drags on, both sides have had to begin digging deep for more and more tanks to throw into the fray. Although Ukraine is beginning to receive a handful of modern NATO tanks to help its own armed forces, which are equipped largely with Cold War era or updated Soviet designs, Russia has, as I reported, begun upgrading hundreds of 60-year-old T-62s in Siberia. Ukraine has also had to look to the past, the distant past for compatible tanks. The Ukrainians are fielding, since last autumn, a design of tank dating from over 70 years ago, the venerable T-55, mainstay of Soviet and Warsaw Pact armed forces in the 1950s through to the early 1980s. However, the 28 vehicles that the Ukrainians brought into service last autumn are a radically improved version of this model of tank, called the M55S, obtained from Slovenia. Taking standard T-55s into battle in 2023 would not be advisable. The 40-ton tank has a semi-stabilized 100mm D-10 gun, a 500-horsepower diesel engine, and steel armor of a maximum thickness of just 200 millimeters, meaning even old RPGs can knock them out. The gun sight requires a semi-infrared spotlight that betrays the tank's position, instant death on the modern battlefield. But the good news for both Ukraine and Russia is the fact that the Soviets built so many T-55s, up to 100,000, that thousands remain in storage or in active use by various armies. The first prototype T-55 was ready for testing at the end of 1945, and it entered Soviet service in 1948, eventually being removed from Soviet service by the early 1980s. However, tens of thousands of these tanks remain in storage, and the type also soldiers on in many armies around the world, particularly in the Third World, where old T-55 saw action recently in the 2014-20 Libyan Civil War, the Yemeni Civil War from 2015 to present, alongside a few World War II-era T-34-85s, and the Tigray War in Ethiopia, which ended last year. The T-55 remains in service with dozens of countries, too many to list in this video. Slovenia was formerly part of communist Yugoslavia, and when it became independent in 1991, its new army inherited dozens of old Soviet T-55s. Slovenia was under several arms embargoes and couldn't obtain more advanced tanks, so it had to make do with what it had but via Israel was able to heavily modernize its existing T-55s into something that is still fairly capable in 2023. The Israeli company Elbit, working with Slovenian companies, pulled apart 30 Slovenian T-55s. The old Soviet gun was replaced with the British Royal Ordnance L7 105mm rifled gun, a gun originally designed by the British to knock out Soviet T-55s. The L7 was used on the Centurion tank, the Leopard 1, and some variants of the US M48 and M60. Although the L7 is getting on in years, it is still highly effective, and plenty of ammunition abounds for them. The tanks also received new fire control systems, incorporating a laser rangefinder and second generation night vision, a digital ballistic computer, new rubber metal tracks, an upgraded diesel engine, increasing horsepower from 500 to 800, giving a maximum speed of 50 kilometers an hour. And of course, the tank is covered in reactive armor bricks, changing the entire look of the old tank and drastically increasing its ability to survive on the modern battlefield. By 2022, Slovenia didn't need the M55S as the new tank was designated anymore. A deal was made to send the remaining 28 tanks to Ukraine in return for 40 large trucks from Germany. Experts have suggested that the M55S is comparable to Russian T-62s, which Putin is of course upgrading and deploying. 
No one is sensibly suggesting that the upgraded T-55s could deal with modern tanks deployed by Russia. But they will be lethal against all other non-tank armoured vehicles the Russians deploy. And of course can also fire high explosive rounds, which would be excellent support for Ukrainian infantry. It is interesting, though, that as the conflict continues, both sides are having to use older and older tank designs, long since retired to storage or museums as stopgaps until more modern types can be deployed to replace combat losses. It seems that Russia may also be upgrading and deploying T-54s and T-55s from its own vast storage pool, but that's a story for another time. Many thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.